Uh, in your opinion, this is Michael Greer, excuse me, who was the least believable wrestler and why was it Greg Garnier? <laughs> well, I knew Greg Garnier's name was going to come up in there, but Greg Garnier looks like Luthes compared to the guy I'm going to mention. And his name is George Goulas. The world's not possibly, but definitely the world's worst professional wrestler. And he was Nick Goulas. And let me tell you why. Because Nick Goulas, and he was a big gangly thing too. He was like 6'5", but the most uncoordinated human being you can imagine. You know, now he played basketball and to play basketball, you got to be coordinated. He was horrible at basketball too. Oh, he could <laughs> shoot a few shots and, you know, but other than that, he was, he was terrible in the ring. He, he had no shoulders, he had legs and ass. Mostly is what he got. No chest, no shoulders, no arms. His body looked like it started like at the midway point of the belt line. His legs were okay, but the top and his face, I mean, it wouldn't incite fear in a three-year-old kid. I mean, he just, he didn't, he didn't look the part. He didn't look tough. He didn't talk tough because he had a lisp. And when he did interviews, you could hear his lisp and he didn't sound threatening or any, he was the world's worst. When I first went to work in Tennessee, they put me against George and I said, I, I can't work with this guy. Well, he's, uh, he's the, he's the owner's son. His owner was Nick Goulas. That was his son. I said, I don't care if he's Nostradamus, son, I don't care because not only uh, I said, he's not over and he's going to make sure that I won't get over. And I raised enough hell uh, against him. So when I would go in the ring a few times, I worked for him about maybe twice. I just beat him up. I would hit him hard. Not really, really hard, but I was, you know, and he'd look at me like, oh, man, that's a little hard. I made sure that he didn't like working with me. So that he wouldn't say, oh, well, put me with Dutch. I didn't, I didn't need a job that bad. But, but he is undoubtedly one of the worst professional wrestlers God ever created. And I don't think God created him. I think the devil created him because I think he, he, he invented him to put a curse on the rest of us for some reason. He never drew any money. I remember one time he somehow they put him against Harley race for the NWA title in Nashville. And they did like half a house in, in Nashville. The house, the, the building would probably seat about a thousand, maybe. I bet they had about 300 people there for the world championship. So nobody, th no, nobody thought that George was going to be world champion. That'd be a slap in the face. And finally, one guy, they, they was outside the ring fighting, and one guy attacked George, <laughs> a fan. <laughs> you ever hear the story? I can, vaguely, I don't know how it goes. The fan attacked George and Harley race had to pull the fan off and, and knock him out. And they took it back in the ring. And oh, I was horrible. It was embarrassing. It really was. Now, Greg is bad enough because not only he wasn't even as big as George, but I heard he was uncoordinated. I, I, I'm not very familiar with Greg. I didn't want to be, but can you imagine George Goulas and Greg Ganya? as the world's worst tag team. I would actually go see that. I would, yeah. I would. That would be an instant sellout for me. I wanted to see how bad it goes, <laughs> like um, like an Ed Wood <laughs> film, you know, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Let's see how big a disaster we can make. Now, you bring up Ed Wood. I love Ed Wood. Oh, really? You know, it, no, you, well, I know who he is. He called up to get financing for a film, and for the ones that don't know who Ed Ed Wood, uh, I mean, uh, Ed Wood was, he's the world's worst director and producer in Hollywood. He made horrible, horrible, uh, like monster films. But he called up to get financing for a movie he wanted to make. And they said, but your last movie was horrible. He said, yes, but the next one will be better. 
he was always the world's biggest optimist. Like it can't be any worse. It'll, it'll be, it'll be so much better. So, and the movie, I like, I like the movie. Yep. Wasn't a George Animal still in that? He was. He was playing like Tor. I can't remember. I can't remember the real guy's name. I, I can't remember who played Bella Lugosi in it either. But I do remember that film. I, what, the best bit in that for me is you know Sarah Jessica Parker. She was in Sex and the City. Yeah. And um, she's in it just at the beginning, and they're reading the reviews of like some terrible like stage play they were in, and she's just reading the review with like horror in her face, and she just looks up at the camera and goes, "Do I really have a face like a horse?" And it's like, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Yes, yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just so, before, I'm oh, sorry. Just before I forget about George Goulos, I want to bring a couple more things just about his appearance. And one, he's got the sorriest chest hair that I may have ever seen on a wrestler. You should have just shaved it. And two, yeah. he had the face of a late night talk show host, like a Dick Cavett or something like that. It was like just nothing about him just screamed, you know, wrestler at all. Nothing. And it, his interview sucked. He couldn't even been a late night host. Because his voice would turn you off. <laughs> I mean, it was, I don't, and he was the guy that got arrested twice. I think I wrote, we did an email one time and I told you that he had, he got arrested three times for solicitation. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was three times. I think it was twice and the same day by the same cop. And solicitation means that you're out looking for prostitutes. And he got caught twice by the same undercover cop. I guess the last one that busted him, which was a lady, I think. And he went back to that same lady. He must have liked her. And they got him again. Now, that's stupid. That is stupid. I've uh, just pulled up what you sent me. So it says, George Goulas was the son of fame. Nashville, we know who he is. Uh, a local newspaper headline read, a local a wrestler arrested for soliciting. George Goulas was arrested for allegedly soliciting a prostitute in Nashville area the very next week. The same local newspaper headline read, local wrestler arrested again. Goulas was arrested <laughs> for a second time for solicitation of a prostitute. Goulas was arrested in the same area by the exact same cop. Yeah. Well, I said twice in the same day, but it was like, it was a week between them, but that, that explains his damn mental attitude. He was, he was an idiot too. <laughs> and I, and I, and I'm not talking behind his back and I never like to talk bad about people. I don't, but George kind of warrants it because he's, he, he's never drew a dime. And I, I never known many people that kind of liked him. And Bobby Eaton got, he, he got hung up one time because they put George as his partner. And he had to go with that for like, I don't know, at least a year. He hated every time he went out there with George. Yeah, the jet set, uh, wasn't it? Uh, oh, I, the, the jet set. Oh, <laughs> I used to go by Bobby and I said, hey, jet set. 